Hello and welcome to this uh, session here today. This is a quick training video uh, and a follow-up actually because some of you uh, that joined my list here in the recent days and weeks uh, received a cheat sheet uh, on how we did some of these initial rankings for a brand new site. And uh, I'd like to share with you now uh, some follow-ups to because there were some questions about how exactly we did that and I had promised a quick video. So. Uh, what you're looking at here is um, bluehost.com and uh, that's where we're uh, hosting this particular site and uh, if you want to learn more about it you can go to bluehost.com there's a lot of cool things in here and they've been around forever and, uh, and I think they do a pretty good job so one of the first things we did is once we set up that uh, hosting account uh, we installed WordPress and you're probably familiar with it very popular it drives major portions of the uh, the interwebs so to speak so you want to get that installed, uh, get that set up, and we just use the basic themes. Uh, as you see here, there's a lot of themes and um, you know opportunities for you to customize here by downloading these. A again, they're sort of out of the box, so they need to be customized. And of course, uh, you can build it yourself from scratch, but uh, that takes more time, and we're not really uh, doing that for this uh, session. Uh, we just want to dig right in. So we're talking about uh, LASIK, and uh, LASIK San Diego was the one that was in that uh, uh, cheat sheet document. And so I'm going to step you through that in a second. But first, uh, one of the reasons why we're looking at this is we're we're obviously having fun with uh, with this, and I've been doing this for a long time myself. But uh, look at this. This is from Google AdWords Keyword Planner. And again, uh, just a guide here, but LASIK Eye Surgery San Diego. Uh, we're seeing that it's uh, about 320 searches per month, and uh, it's about uh, 2015. Again, these are guide numbers. And, but if we look at this here, and just throw these numbers into the calculator, we're looking at about $6,400, $6,500 a month that somebody would pay for the, I believe it's the first through the third uh, positions in, in AdWords, so six grand. And one of the things that we do in the business is we, we actually rank sites and then we rent these out, uh, kind of a leasing of uh, virtual real estate uh, online, which is a great model, but that's not what we're showing you here today. Uh, again, just some trending information. Uh, we, we look at this, but uh, we look at the marketplace and we certainly look at the keyword uh, pool. And we also look at uh, a number of searches here. For instance, we don't want this to be in the thousands or tens of thousands. Uh, that's simply way too competitive and it's going to take too long. Uh, something that's smaller, something that it's very tightly niched is very useful. So if you're a new business and you're in a niche, you have a great opportunity for uh, for rankings fast here. And you don't obviously lease your <laughs> your sites out. But uh, anyway, so uh, here's what we did then. Once we set that up, we got the um, WordPress installed. We uh, went ahead and installed some plugins. So you can do that from the plug plugins module here. And uh, we threw the Google XML sitemaps up from Arnie here. I believe he's Danish, very cool dude. And um, we also set up a redirection, going to show that in a second, and WordPress SEO from the Yoast team. And it's a very popular one and easy to configure, but uh, actually has some complexity in it too. So uh, what we did next is we actually went in here to the um, uh, menus. Again, you can see it's not scripted, right? I'm just going off the cuff here. But uh, uh, we got the privacy policy menu on here. Uh, we got the home page uh, menu on here. And, uh, you know, we like to put these keywords and, uh, you know, anytime we can, we want to match the keywords. Again, uh, the whole discussion about over optimization and matching of keywords and anchor text and all this complexity stuff, we're not getting into that here. I'm just showing you what we did, right? And a big disclaimer here, I put that in the document as well. If you do all these things, uh, each marketplace is different. Each keyword space and, and the levels of competitive is, uh, competitiveness is different. And um, you may not have the same results. And of course, Google changes all the time. Search engines update often. So you'll actually see the dancing happening a lot, right? So then what we did is we actually went into the plugins area 
Uh, that's uh, that I already covered. We didn't do that. We actually went in. We created some content. So we did an about contact. We did the home page privacy policy, and the home page is very very basic. Uh, not a lot of keywords here. We're getting a green here from uh, SEO optimization standpoint. And the focus keyword is lazy eye surgery. Basically, put in a header tag here, heading one, right? H1 uh, picture. We optimized the uh, picture with uh, with tags as well, and. Um, uh, the alternative text here uh, <coughs> and uh, let's actually move this uh, out of the window and uh, and we added some keywords down here what is LASIK uh, we also uh, link out to some other authoritative sites and believe it or not we did something kind of spammy here and it's a test we take some of the keywords that we found and just literally throw them right in there <laughs> and then here's a reference from Wikipedia and that's it now we went in here to the um, WordPress SEO um, plugin, which shows up once you've installed it, shows up down here. And we actually try and match these up. So you can see LASIKSANDIEGO.NET was the domain we got. And then of course, here's our kind of our main keyword. And we're putting that up there as a redirection. I'm gonna share with you how we did that in a second. But we sort of want this stacking here. And uh, in, in, in the SEO terms, we talk about theming. This is the beginning stages of theming, and it's a little bit overdone, but uh, again, we're testing here, and this gives you some ideas on what you can be doing as well. But these are solid strategies, don't get me wrong. Then we type in the SEO title here, and we try to mix this up and get uh, the keywords in there, uh, but also the locale, and we could do California as, uh, you know, as well, but uh, we didn't do that here. And a general statement for uh, uh, the meta description, uh, we have six characters left here. Uh, what you could be doing here and should be doing is um, once you get your location set up, uh, put a phone number in here um, and uh, uh, you know call today. M make it sort of look like an ad and enhance or encourage those click-throughs is a very, very good idea. So as you can see, extremely basic here. We did a check on the SEO, which you can also do here. This uh, little uh, link shows up once you install the plugin. And there's a couple of sort of semi-red items here, but uh, we don't care about this at this point because this is stage one uh, before we start developing out more content, and content is central. Then what we did is we uh, went back to the plugins area, and we went ahead and set up redirection, as I said. We basically told the system, listen, anytime you hit that home page right there, the source, go ahead and redirect this with a 301 to that. 301 is simply a way for um, search engines to see that this is a permanent location for the URL and it also gives you a, um, a readability of the keywords for the users as well as search ins engines at this time seem to enjoy this. Certainly uh, Yahoo and, and Bing uh, really gets on this but uh, so does Google. Uh, again going fast here uh, this is not a long video I just want to kind of get this as a follow-up immediately for uh, as a thanks for for uploading the um, uh, or getting the uh, uh, the cheat sheet. See, I'm so excited I can't even talk here. Um, so what we did here is we just went in and changed some of the sort of panda friendly settings, uh, get rid of some of that noise. You don't need all of this here in the head, so make sure you, you check those uh, as well. Uh, the home page, we talked about that, but we set up a template here to just call out the site name and the page name. Uh, we went into the post types and uh, we really didn't do much here other than to clean up these uh, t site templates here. For taxonomies, uh, we also no index the categories and the tags. You just simply don't need to create that duplication there. Uh, and then in here, we are only a one author perspective here, so we just need no index and disable that. That does an automatic redirect to the home page. Again, going fast here, there's more to it. By the way, one thing you should do, and uh, this is probably the most important at this point, is don't use the WordPress XML sitemap. Uh, it's really not as uh, flexible uh, and as uh, uh, optimally uh, created um, at this time in that version. So what we do is we, we disable this, so uncheck that box and save it. Uh, and then you go in and you use the XML sitemap plugin here from Arnie. And uh, the reason why we really want to do that is we want something like this. And I'm just going to take this at the top here. And uh, uh, let's see here. I'm just going to type here. Anytime you type when uh, somebody's watching a demo, it's not good. But it seems to be working, so we're going for it. Basically, here you can see it creates a... XML sitemap in the root of the uh, URL, which you can see there. 
lasiksandiego.net slash sitemap.xml. That's exactly what we want. And if you look at this uh, particular um, uh, XML mapping, then you can see we get our LASIK San Diego right in here. And then we're back, right? And that's what the site looks like. Very, very basic. It's using a basic theme. Uh, this could be further optimized. In fact, having this on the left-hand side is not optimum. Um, but all of this, you'll see this uh, changing over time as we actually address this and uh, optimize it further so you can be part of this journey. And if you'd like to know a little bit more about how we did this, please shoot a message back to this email or make a, a comment to this fact and uh, I'll try and help you out there. But really, just a very quick walkthrough. Uh, that's uh, what we, we did. Essentially, we started with the hosting there. We installed WordPress on there, selected a basic theme. We went in and created a couple of pages there, got the navigation set up. I showed you that as well underneath the menus area. Uh, then what we did is we made sure we installed the Google XMLs uh, from uh, Arnie here, uh, sitemap. So we got the uh, John Godley um, Goodly uh, redirection, and we got the WordPress SEO. We optimized all of that. We set up the redirection. We also, very importantly, want to make sure that we set up what's called the permalinks, which we set up here in the post name, and it looks like this. And this is just syntax for WordPress to be able to translate the sort of non-friendly URLs, which you can see here, P equals, you know, this is basically a name value pair as the sophisticated expression goes. Uh, you want the full name description with keywords, etc. So permalinks are very important. Um, uh, the general area, you don't have to worry too much about this. Uh, basically, we just override that with some of these plugins. And uh, you don't have to worry about this uh, as well in the reading area. Sometimes what you'll see here is people will select a static page to be shown to the home page. Uh, we don't want to do that because we're using the posts and a redirection. But other than that, that's kind of it, man, to uh, get this stuff going. So this has been like a, what, 10, 11 uh, minute video right now? Actually, we're 11 minutes, so it's very quick. But um, what you should do here is test this for yourself and uh, send it back any questions to me. Make sure you read that uh, SEO cheat sheets list. If you didn't get it, make sure that you shoot me an email and I'll, uh, I'll get that back to you. And the uh, next video, I'm going to share a little bit more with you on how we optimize WordPress and some of these plugins because we see a lot of uh, issues with it. And uh, Panda is the filter that was established by Google that talks about uh, uh, thin content, duplication of content, and really uh, very much your on-page factors. And you really need to start there. Make sure that you're clean in that area. So you have a clean slate for building your house as you start to really do more uh, in-depth work for your local SEO work. And uh, I'm also going to send you some videos on that and how you can get started for very low cost uh, as well. So hopefully this has uh, helped you. Look forward to it. Uh, certainly enjoyed making it for you. And I'll see you in the next video. All right. Cheers, Jana. Take it easy and rock on, guys and gals.